Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here. Welcome to day eight of the 10 day wire bookmark making challenge. Be sure to check out all the details below the video to learn how to participate in the challenge and win great prizes like wire and tools from Beadalon, templates and tutorials from my Etsy DIY shop and custom made wire jewelry from my Etsy shop. Today I'm making a spiral wire heart with the name Amber and we are going to use 16 gauge or 1.5 millimeter wire. I have my tools. We're starting with some 16 gauge artistic wire and we're going to do a little loop on one side and then get our ring cone and we are going to curve the wire around to form the top of the heart. You can use any round form to do this. So we're going to curve it around and then take our round pliers and bend it back up. After that, we'll take the ring cone again and curve the wire around to form the top of the heart. So just bring it around, adjust it so it's even, wiggle it around a little bit. You can always adjust the curves if you need to make it more symmetrical. And then we're going to take our round pliers or flat pliers and just bend it straight up. And then we're going to take the end of a Crayola marker to make a slightly smaller curve. And then the fine nose pliers to bend it up again. And our Crayola marker to curve it around. So now we have two hearts adjust it as you need. So now I have my Zeron tweezer nose pliers. We're going to bend it up on a sharp angle and the end of a pen to make an even smaller heart inside. And the round nose pliers again to bend it up and the end of the pen to bend it back down. So now we have three hearts. Do any little adjustments that you need to get it even and to make sure the heart sits inside the previous heart. So now the Zeron tweezer nose pliers to make a sharp angle up and then our round pliers to make the smallest heart inside. We're just going to make it as small as we can so it fits right inside there. Bring it around. You could do three rows if you prefer for the heart, however you like it. And we've clipped the end and we're just going to pinch it in. So there we have that and we can hammer it if we want. You could flatten it with the pasta maker or with the rolling mill. This part is optional. Now you can do a name uh, to dangle off the heart or you can dangle anything you like. We're going to do the name Amber. Amber is the moderator of my YouTube channel and a dear friend and we are going to do her name. So there we are going to bring the wire around for the A. I will link up a playlist of tutorials for the letters and names to help you do your own name out of wire. I use 20 gauge wire for the names. It's a nice medium size and it works really well also for the name pendants. So now we're going to form the M using my round nose pliers to bring the wire around. Just curve it around and bend it straight up to the back. And then do the other part of the M and around and up for the B. Straighten the wire as you go, bring it around and down. I'm making this pretty small. And we're going to get our round nose pliers to make the circle on the B. Wiggle that wire around. And then the small stainless steel red handled round nose pliers that I love. You can get those on Amazon. Bring the wire up to form the R. Just adjust it so it's even. And now we're going to bend the wire to the front to do the cursive R. 
and bring it to the back and down and out. So there we have the name and we can make sure it's even, adjust it as you need. I'm going to clip the end to about two to three inches and then I'm going to curve the end into a little loop and bring it around to make a spiral. So just work it in to make the spiral, bring it in like that and then you can hold it with your thumb and finger to wind it right in to make the spiral a little bit bigger. You can adjust the wires so they're evenly spaced. Press it down with the flat pliers. And there's the name with a little spiral. And then I'm just going to do a little loop here because I want to add some beads and I don't want them to slide up the A. So this is just a little divider circle. Fill it up with beads, bend the wire out, and then get the round pliers to form a little loop so we can hang it. Bring the wire around to close the loop, and then we'll clip that end. So that's finished with the beads. Straighten it out a little bit. And from there, we're just going to open up the little loop on the heart and we will dangle the name down and then close up that loop, press it closed and you can just slide it right into your book and the name dangles down at the side. Be sure to check out the description below for all the name tutorials. Thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for all kinds of wire art and jewelry making tutorials. You can share photos of your work from the challenges in the 10 day challenges private Facebook group for the duration of the challenge only. If the challenge is over, you can still join the group to view work from previous challenges and stay tuned for future challenges. Thank you to Beadalon for supplying the prizes for my 10 day challenges. Thank you to everyone who participates and shares their beautiful creations. And we'll see you the next time.